So since episode one of Daima premiered, there's been a lot of people in the comments and in different streams I've done asking about this big mysterious fish that was in the show and how the demon realm ties into the rest of the multiverse. So I'm going to attempt to give you some clarity here on this video today. Make sure that if you're new, of course, hit the subscribe button and leave a like for stopping by because I'll try to give you some clarity. So in the recent episode of Dragon Ball Daima, Goma and Degesu and Neba were all headed up to the regular mortal realm and they had to leave the demon realm and go through this giant fish character that wanted a password. Once the password was given, the uh, the passcode, they were taken to another sort of uh, what appears to be sort of like a space station or some kind of a portal. Now, this is something new that we have not seen previously in Dragon Ball or in any of the notes left behind by Toriyama prior to Daima appearing. What eventually wound up happening, or Daima coming out, not appearing, what wound up happening is their ship wound up spinning and they ended up in a new location. And this has led to some confusion amongst fans. So this new location here, as you see on your screen, appears to be some kind of a nexus point or some kind of an interconnected web of portals that take you anywhere you want to go, presumably in the entire multiverse. Now, this has led to a lot of people thinking that well, the demon realm exists outside of just Universe 7 in some other realm or some other location. And I can totally understand why you would be asking that question. When the ship arrives, they are greeted by this other fish-looking character who I believe his name is Warp. I was told a while ago that his name is Warp. And he's asking, are you going to the outside world? Which universe? Now, who put these fish guys in charge? We don't know yet. That may or may not be revealed in Dragon Ball Super, but because he's asking what universe they want to go to, a lot of folks have assumed that this means that the Demon Realm is not just part of Universe 7, it's part of the entire multiverse. Now, instead of like, you know, some people have said, well, you know, you said it was part of Universe 7. I didn't say that. Toriyama himself said that. Prior to Dragon Ball Daima or even Dragon Ball Super, Toriyama do a, drew a diagram of Universe 7. And if you look on your screen right now, this diagram clearly shows that you have the mortal realm, you have the realm of the Kais around the universe, and then at the very bottom of the universe, you've got the demon realm. It's right there at the very bottom. The situation here is that this was drawn for one of the Dragon Ball Daizenchus, the guidebooks, a very long time ago. So what may have happened is that Toriyama may have originally intended for the Demon Realm to only be part of Universe 7 because he drew it before he came up with the 12 universes. Remember, Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods was the first time we had ever heard about there being 12 universes from Beerus at the very end of the film. And at the end of the movie, he straight up reveals that. And that was after Toriyama had drawn the initial diagram of the universe. Did Toriyama forget? Is this a retcon of what he originally said in the guidebooks? Or is it a situation where, well, Toriyama did draw it. It was from his pen, but maybe he forgot. Or maybe they never actually put it in the series and thus maybe it's not actually a situation where it was ever like really made part of the story. So it's interesting to me that that's kind of what went on. As you can see on your screen here, they're having the conversation. It says here number three. Now I want to clarify this first of all. This is a series of portals, right? This is clearly a nexus of the multiverse that gives you access to multiple realms. This number three does not mean universe three. Don't get it twisted. He's asking which location they want to come out of. Now, planet Earth in our solar system is the third planet from the sun. So you could easily surmise that the location they want to get out of is Earth, which is number three, the third planet from the sun. It's the same thing in the Dragon Ball solar system. It's the same idea. But it could just be portal number three. I would not be surprised if this nexus here gives you access to different parts of the Dragon Ball multiverse. Not just the other 12 universes, but also maybe the universe of the Room of Spirit and Time. Uh, you know, the, the hyperbolic area where Black Frieza was able to access. Don't forget, 
When Black Frieza first emerged, he revealed that he was able to find a location where he could train multiple years in multiple minutes, like the Room of Spirit and Time. And we also saw that Mirus was able to access that. So that just tells me that it makes perfect sense that there are other portals all around the multiverse that give you access to other realms and other locations. Who put this in place? We haven't it hasn't been told to us yet. It could have been Zeno. It could have been some other higher god we haven't been introduced to yet. I don't think it was the Kais, but one of the implications in Dragon Ball Daima is that clearly the demon realm, like the people of the demon realm was supposed to be kept separate from everything else. Now, whether that be because of the manipulative hijinks or maybe they're dangerous or they wanted to seal them off that's never really been revealed so i wouldn't be surprised if the kinds are the ones responsible for this and um it's very very interesting that this is what happened of course we find out here that dr arinsu already made it through which is making me believe or theorize this is just a theory not a spoiler that Dr. Orinsu has been watching the events of Dragon Ball Z, the Majin Buu saga specifically, unfold. She knows about them. Clearly, it seems like, you know, she has her own motives. We've talked about how she probably doesn't want to, doesn't trust Goma. She wants to do her own thing. These access points were not mentioned whatsoever in Dragon Ball Super by any of the gods, not Whis, none of the angels, or Beerus, or even the Grand Priest and, the, and Zeno. This is like a new idea. However, if the Demon Realm people have access to them, I would not be surprised if, well, why wouldn't Whis have access to it? Now, if you go back to Dragon Ball Super, you may remember that in Dragon Ball Super, Whis and Vados used this magical cube to go between universes. They may have access to these access points too. They may use the cube to get here, that's just a theory on my part. Again, this is not confirmed information. So according to what Toriyama himself said, the Demon Realm is still part of just Universe 7 and maybe the other 11 universes have their own Demon Realms or perhaps the Universe 7 Demon Realm has something special about it or maybe Universe 7 as a whole has something special about it. Remember, we found out in Dragon Ball Daima that the Namekians were originally from the Demon Realm. Does that also mean the Namekians from Universe 6? Are they from their own Demon Realm? These questions have not been answered as of yet, and hopefully we do get answers in Daima because with the passing of Toriyama, there's not going to be any more interviews from him, so we may not ever get an answer if it's not explained in Daima. We may have to just figure it out on our own. That's the tricky thing now with the passing of the creator is that there may be some unanswered questions that we never get answered as a result of this. But I like to think that this is a special nexus area that gives them access to multiple parts of the universe, you know, and then they can go right to Earth with number three and it saves them a ton of time flying through space. It seems to warp you right to the planet or near the planet. Could the demon realm actually be disconnected from the multiverse and be its own realm? Like, for example, the world of Void where the Tournament of Power took place. Because remember, that place is not part of the traditional multiverse. It's a different realm. Or could it be that maybe the demon realm was originally part of Universe 7, but some kind of event happened, and when the event happened, everything just change then maybe somebody who has a high authority move the demon realm away from universe 7 or it could be that Toriyama drew the diagram you know probably I think 13 14 years ago it was a while ago I don't remember the exact I don't remember exactly when that was drawn but it was either in the early 2010s or the late 2000s and if so he may just say you know what the demon realm now is just separate from everything or there could be more to it. This question remains to be answered, but there's only a few possibilities here. Toriyama forgot, something was changed, or this is still the demon realm of only Universe 7, and the special area they're going to with the giant fish is something that can be accessed from other places as well and other universes. So it could be that maybe... 
in the past, characters have used this nexus point to access universe six or universe three or whatever the different universes you want to go to are. Again, that remains to be seen because remember, because Daima's before Dragon Ball Super, we're probably not going to see any of the other universes, I would assume, I could be wrong, I would assume because Goku has not found out about the multiverse because the fight with Beerus is still three years away in the timeline. I want to also add that yes, when Dragon Ball Super first aired, there was a huge mistranslation and people thought that Dragon Ball Super started six months after Majin Buu. No, this series is six months after, and we know that because Trunks' birthday is in November, and the Boo Saga takes place in May. So it's about, actually more like seven months, right? So the Boo arc took place in May. Trunks' ninth birthday would have been six months after. The original Dragon Ball timeline lists Battle of Gods as taking place in age 778, if I remember correctly, and that is literally four years after the death of Majin Buu. So it goes Daima, six months after the Buu arc, then the Yo Sun Goku OVA from 2008, that's two years, which would be a year or so, a year and a half or so after um, Daima, depending on how long that goes, and then two years after that is Battle of Gods. I hope I didn't confuse you, okay? I may do a whole video about the timeline. Let me know if you want to see it in the comments below, and remember to leave a like. On your screen right now are a few more videos to help you understand Dragon Ball a bit more. And Daima, thank you again for your support. Take care. I will catch you in the next one.